Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gemmer Junk. This week out, we are going to be playing Art and Senna's Super Monaco GP2. So, uh, yeah. This was a game that was kind of like a, uh, <clears throat> a staple in the, uh, There we go, free run. A staple in the video video rental store space back in the day. Like whenever I would go to the rental shop, I would always see this front and center on the uh, Sega Genesis. And when the Game Gear came out, it was kind of like, all right, What's going on here? Let's let's try this on the Game Gear. And uh, if you've played this on the Sega Master System, then you kind of know what to expect here. Um, I'm not going to lie. Wasn't the biggest fan of this on the Genesis. Not a huge fan of racing games, but visually, this is not a bad looking um, Game Gear game at all. Control smooth. We got a little bit of a free run here. You can drift a little bit. I love, like, uh, the parallax scrolling of sorts. This is exactly, like, what you would want from a portable racing game back in the, uh, early 90s. It's not gonna wow you, but it moves well. We're kind of emulating it at probably about five times the screen size, too. So the fact that this still looks good says a lot. So, gem or junk... It's pretty easy. This is a gem. Um, it's not obviously not Gran Turismo. It's not gonna like floor you, but it does what it's supposed to do. Like for me, if you're looking for a Sega like exclusive racing game, Outrun is the way to go. But this is a uh, this is an interesting entry in uh, the Sega racing uh, history. So I would uh, I would check it out if I was you. <laughs> 